Today, I'm building a 2024 shaped house because it's a brand new year. First off, credits to the panda for the idea of turning words into houses. Secondly, I am adding a twist. For each number of 2024 is a separate prediction of how 2024 will go based on one, horoscopes, two, numerology, three, AI, and four, Reddit. Now I gotta make the house. <laughs> well, the four different houses. Now let's start carving out these numbers. Loki, I don't wanna make it too big because I know that I have to build every single house, which is why you guys should go join my group so then we can build together. I need you guys to help me out. I can't do all this by myself. Is this a good letter too? It looks more like a Z to me. No, you know what? This will have to do. It just looks like a Z because of the shadows. Trust me. Now we gotta make the zero. Oh, this is big. Look at that zero. It's so awkward. I think it's because it drops down like too low. You're drooping too much. You gotta drop down here there that's so much better and we got to create that little like center bit which i think i'm just gonna make like this <laughs> what if i do this oh is this not centered big problem i have to make another two which means i need to copy this one okay two blocks we got two like this two like this one up did i do it i kind of didn't actually this like middle part of this two and this two they're different this one's like skinnier i fixed it and now we just got to make the four which should be really easy oh you know what actually it is not as easy as i thought it would be because everybody draws their four different I have always made my four look like this. To me, this is the right way. This is what we're working with. Definitely is kind of swaying towards the right. So astrology says, new year, new beginning, new challenges with new opportunities. It says, astrologically, the year unfolds with Saturn and Aquarius. Blah, 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 blah. There's going to be focus towards family relationships and wealth. There's going to be some emotional impacts, which, although sounds bad, will also create opportunities for business ventures in foreign lands that means i gotta put a map inside the letter <laughs> i gotta write notes i don't even know where to start okay i'm gonna go for like a set floor that i really like i love wood grain oh wait look at it it's wonky no why are you wonky why are you auto wonky gotta fix it we don't approve of the wonky floor so i'm recording this literally first of january and so far i would say my 2024 is going weird actually i legit as per my name had very bad sleep <laughs> So horoscope prediction is feeling modern. We will go for modern reveal double door. Other than having like a really poopy sleep, which sounds like a bad thing, I actually woke up to banana bread. My mom made banana bread. So I got mixed feelings for 2024. <laughs> You know what? Maybe this is true. I had bad sleep and I got banana bread opportunity. So maybe it's accurate. What do people do with their walls? I know some people use a lot of accent walls. I don't use accent walls enough. I'm going to try to do that here because we're embracing new opportunities. So accent wall right here in the center. You know, I didn't even come up with a floor plan. I'm just making accent walls at random. So the big question for you guys is what are your new year resolutions? I actually didn't really come up with any. <laughs> Cause it always feels like I say the same thing, like, oh, go to the gym, like eat healthier. I feel like everybody uses that for their new year's resolutions. All right, this is looking kind of fancy right now. Good, good, that's what we're going for. We wanna look brand new. I'm gonna use the frame window, I don't even care. So that's like a hallway. Bedroom, office, bathroom, kitchen, dining, living room. Yeah, I'm putting a roof on this, we're sealing it. I think I gotta like extend it a little bit so we got that overhang and so that it shows the number. Wait, what happened there? Why is there a gap? Mind the gap, please, what is that? If it does it again, I don't care. Not my fault that it's causing a glitch. Look at it, it's doing the glitch again. When I extend this roof, it's glitch time. Dark wood to make it fancy. The edges, we're gonna make black so it like really highlights the shape of the number. I can't be bothered to figure out how to stop it, so. Oh, basic shape, it went all the way up. All right, that's the best I can do. <laughs> can I get some more windows? I don't like how like bland it is out here at the front. Wait, since we know that this is the bedroom, I'm just gonna put like one window right there. Yeah, yeah. That's it. Here we are, we're on the inside. We need light, it's so dark. So we know that the horoscope prediction says that it's like be more family oriented. This house pretty much only has one bedroom. So it's not super family family, right? It's just one person who lives here. There's not enough space for a huge family. I think the way that we're gonna make this feel family oriented is by putting a lot of paintings everywhere. Cause we're gonna just like picture that those paintings have like family photos and stuff. And I'm gonna make sure that I pick like photos with people in them. Cause usually I just go for like abstract. I just want a little spot for the car keys. Oh, I'm gonna have to put them on the floor. Sorry. Do we have a map? I wanna use a map already. <laughs> Wait, no, we don't have a map, but we have granny's maple syrup. I guess we'll be using this because it's a family oriented house. Wait, I'm gonna have to remove like probably these windows so we can put counters or no, probably this window. Yeah, this window. Oh, okay, we'll figure it out. It'll be fine. But granny's maple syrup goes here. Speaking of, where's the map? Wait, we have a globe. Okay, this one's too like old and 2024 is all about the new. So we're gonna put this fancier world globe. And you know what? This 
is gonna be decoration for the person's bedroom, but I'm also gonna use it in the living room if I can. And since they have a lot of different like business opportunities, they probably need a calendar for all their different plans. We need to use new items. So we're gonna be here. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna use these dolls to indicate family. Susan doll is the mama. Tom doll is the papa. <gasps> Look at this briefcase. This is for their business opportunities. I'm gonna put it out here at the front. 999. That's a lucky number, I bet. Look how fancy this is. Can I make the briefcase pink? Oh, I can. Now, the living room, which is pretty much gonna be here. Why didn't I get enough sleep? I'm just gonna use the retro sofa. All the retro is like old. To me, this doesn't look old. I like it. And you know what? I'm gonna keep it orange. Here are the very different paintings. I cannot really place a TV on the wall, clearly, but I can place a ceiling mounted TV. Here it is, AccuSlim 2 ceiling mounted. This is exactly what I need. You need your trusty coffee table. I swear we had like a new book. It was a kid's book, I think. This is pretty new, although it's not showing up in the new category. It's still a new item, so I'm leaving it there. Look, when I place the kids book, boop. I know that this horoscope doesn't mention plants. Who is this? But foreign lands kind of makes me think of a jungle. I like how green it is. I need to go touch grass. Look at that. Nice jungle. Living room entryway is done. Now moving over here with granny's maple syrup. Look at her. Uh-oh. How am I gonna do this? Okay, we're gonna use this as our actual fridge. This house is too small. I think we can only have like a cooktop. So we'll just use this. We need this cabinet for sure. This cabinet is important because it holds the special microwave. Here's some soap so you can wash 2023 away. Chocolate fountain. Do we need this? No, but I wanna start 2024 on a good note. So I'm gonna buy this as a gift. I wanna tell you guys, thank you so much for watching my videos. I love reading your comments. I love the support that I get from you guys. Y'all are just the sweetest and so you deserve this chocolate fountain it's a gift from me you know what i want to get you guys another gift <laughs> who won an ice cream machine now i gotta worry about the dining area where are we gonna sit and eat maybe a dining area is not important because at the end of the day you can just kind of eat at your coffee table you know now moving on from the kitchen we're gonna go on over here so we can only fit like a single bed oh it's a little rotated see if i place it like this wonky there's not a lot of options i'm gonna use a different type of pillar i always go for the plankton pillar we're gonna go for a round pillar the year of the new modern wardrobe right up in this wall wait no that's incorrect i want to put a study corner there wardrobe here wait it's hiding the globe i got problems now we can fit our wardrobe oh we don't really have space for like an end table if you're gonna have an alarm clock it's gonna be up here now what's a desk that i rarely use industrial pipe desk i don't want to use that no not for 2024 I, I just don't like it it's giving school the horoscope prediction said that there's going to be business opportunities and so i want to give them a very fancy laptop for all them opportunities and since they're working so hard they probably have a lot of sticky notes up here and because they're family oriented i did say i was going to use lots of photos so i'm gonna do that wait we got a new year's photo booth frame oh <gasps> i want to use that yeah we'll leave it there it's gonna be a long video <laughs> for sure well, here is a photo frame for the family yoink the floor plant place it there place it there lit up the place i want to say that we're done with the room but look at this bed it's atrocious that's pretty good now i'm gonna move on to this bathroom i mean how do you make a bathroom for 2024 i guess if you use like a new toilet that you don't usually use sink over here sink over here mirror mirror snatch this place it oh this bathroom is dark i can barely see anything should i put a globe in the bathroom to indicate again the foreign lands that apparently we will all be traveling to well i cannot disobey the horoscope so i gotta just as a reminder this is our horoscope prediction house so far so good and now we're gonna move on to this number which is our numerology prediction house let's see what numerology thinks numerology is an ancient belief in the underlying patterns of mathematics prevalent throughout existence each year is assigned a universal year number which represents the overarching energy and themes that will influence the world at large this is what i want so we know that 2024 is the universal number eight we're learning a lot here number eight has two major meanings in numerology the first one is related to power authority leadership and ambition second one is connected to balance harmony karma and justice okay i put those keywords down right here number eight is a symbol of harmony and balance between the feminine and masculine energies of yin and yang eight is linked to karma because it has a circular and balanced shape so it's basically saying good vibes only if you do something bad karma gonna hit you hard in 2024 yin and yang both masculine and feminine i really don't know what to go here okay what if i do like a feminine exterior so we'll do like seashell pink and then the interior is gonna be very blue for masculine what's interesting is that the numerology prediction is talking about like a circular shape and we're doing the letter zero which is a literal circle what are the chances of that maybe there is some accuracy to 
this. I feel like traditional windows would be good. I'm gonna put one here and here. I'll put them on this side as well because balance. And I guess in the center, we'll have like a little yard sort of thing, center yard. How about the see-through door? I mean, we said good vibes only, right? And I feel like a see-through door is good vibes. Why? Because it means that you're really open with your neighbors. You're like, yeah, come on in. Like you can literally see inside my house. I'm so chill with you. It's all good. Just come in. I'm gonna try to make this roof. <laughs> Look at it. It's so goofy. Trying my best. I'm using the exact same floor that we use in the horoscope house. I feel like you can't go wrong with this type of floor. And yeah, I will leave this here. But since we're doing balance and karma, I feel like things need to be symmetrical. Entryway living room, bathroom, and bedroom. I'm gonna make the bathroom see-through. <laughs> I absolutely need to put a tree in the middle. Perfect. I'm like actually super surprised that numerology and astrology are pretty different in their predictions of 2024. I mean, with these types of things, I always feel like they're trying to be really vague. Like the more vague it is, the more chance they have at being accurate. If they make it like super vague and they're like, oh, you're going to make a friend and you're going to get a good grade. They're going to be way more accurate, which is why when we move on to the next prediction, it's going to be way more interesting because the next one is AI and AI is supposed to be really, really smart. So whatever, AI says should be accurate. Masculine energy. Gotta make the jacket huge. Maybe we should get like a workout room. Yeah, something like this, a kettlebell. Gotta get the masculine energy up. Here, dumbbells. Maybe they're very passionate about the gym. You know, guys are always like, yo, how much did you bench? Slippers, the most masculine thing in the world. I'm actually having a hard time with this numerology prediction. Fashion design book, yin. And then motion book, which I would say is like yang. I will go ahead and yoink this ceiling mounted TV and place it here. I forget that this exists. And every time I see it, I'm like, wow, this feels pretty masculine. Where is the kitchen? Okay, this person might not have a kitchen. <laughs> It's fine. They'll go to their neighbor. I bet they're best friends. I need to find more like circular decorations. I need a circle. Wait, this is giving karma. But I feel like people who talk a lot about karma always have these sticks or like these jewels. We could put these jewels here because they are kind of feminine. And we're going to put the round glass vase. The roses aren't a prediction. It's just me. This, it's a circle. I feel like this room is giving good vibes. I need to like raise this up because it looks awkward at the floor. Okay, I'll just like stack a couple books here. Pink exterior, blue interior. Now let's move on to this bathroom. I'm going to do a super quickly. Oh, I want to put this here, but I can't because we have that sculpture. The bathroom is definitely a little awkwardly shaped, but this looks pretty balanced to me for extra balance. Some more sticks by the sink. The numerology house is done. Now we're going to move on to our AI prediction house. This one's going to be interesting. So I pulled up my trusty chat GPT. I said, what is your prediction for 2024? Chat GPT said, I don't have the ability to predict specific events. Okay, you don't got to be so rude. And I'm like, if you could guess though, what would it be? I've got an answer here. Technological advancements. Continue progress in ai okay so we need to get like a really good pc setup climate change no air condition for this person it's gonna feel too hot in there Healthcare, vaccine development medical research Ooh, we have another global thing happening so we're gonna put a lot of globes everywhere <laughs> economic i don't know if this means that it's gonna be good or bad so the ai prediction is an awesome pc setup climate change because it's too hot medical research which means we're gonna put lots and lots of papers everywhere there's gonna be globes as well and something with economics what does that mean for our exterior so this place needs to look extra extra modern there's one pc setup in the block books that i really want to get which is immediately what i thought of when they were talking about technological advanced this one is 400 block books for this video we're buying it let's also get an arcade machine and i know that i have in storage this beverage fridge because they're like a gamer so they got to get their g fuel or their prime and they did mention economics so i guess i'll put a cash register for some reason what's a technologically advanced door i need to pick that this looks kind of advanced it doesn't even look like a door it looks like a window but we're using it for this house it needs to look like it's from the future so we're not going to use the framed window we're just going to use this modern window so it works better with our door yeah that is looking weird in a good way we're good on the windows we don't have to do anymore now we just got to figure out the floor plan this will be the whole bedroom i will try to squeeze the bathroom here and i guess the kitchen is going to be here i want to use a different flooring i think for this one maybe a darker flooring i like this one i gotta find another like fancy big door like this that looks special i know there's this transom door doesn't feel like it's right for a house which is probably why i should use it because this house is supposed to feel very like revolutionary so this is what it's looking like inside and i still can't believe that this is the door so we said we want papers everywhere and it needs to feel like it's too hot i'm not sure how i'm gonna show that it's too hot maybe with some spices but i 
I will put a lot of papers because that's the medical research. Oh, <gasps> this is a good way to show heat. Okay, I'm gonna get block books. I'm gonna do it. Oh, that looks dangerous, but we need to show that it's too hot. Climate change. Let's go into the horoscope prediction and grab the globes. Maybe this is something that they would have. It has the word economic in it. And AI said that there's economic trends. And I know that these things have nothing to do with economic trends, but it has the word economic in it. Also, somebody who's in a really advanced house like this would probably have these solar panels. So these people, they need lots and lots of sunglasses. They have sunglasses collection. Why, you ask? Well, uh, it's because it's always too sunny and too hot. So they started collecting sunglasses for fun. Put like three shelves and all the sunglasses will go here. I don't think we ever hear about like a sunglasses collector. It's always like shoe collecting or like game collecting. But sunglasses, I never heard of that. Do they need an umbrella stand? Let's be honest. I feel like no, it's too hot. So it's not raining. They probably wouldn't even have carpets because it's way too hot. I'm going to put an ice sculpture out here for fun. I want to put like a hook rack as well because I'm thinking jacket, right? But jackets are pointless. It's too hot. Wow, they basically don't even need an entryway. <laughs> they do need a place to put their car keys. That's for sure. So I will use this curved glass end table. I'll put it on this side. Oh wait, that's how they make a lot of money. They work in medicine. And this is all their research in medicine. Very cool. Okay, well for their living room, I already forgot. It's okay. We'll just work with what we got. I'm gonna place two modern counters here. I think between all of the predictions so far, I feel like the AI one is gonna be the most accurate one of them all. I mean, obviously it should be more accurate because it's literally AI. It has like unlimited knowledge. I do want to give this person a toaster, coffee maker, and a blender. Oof, almost went a whole video without saying that. I gotta put this cooktop as well. Uh-oh, let me put this over here. You should not put the toaster that close to the sink. I promise you that's not gonna go well. I could try to put the dining area on the wall. I think it'll work out. If I just grab the same oak shelf that I used for the sunglasses and I widen it, make it a little longer like that. Put a pillar here for fancy. It definitely looks uh, modern. I do want a stool for it. The modern one. Modern stool. I'm just gonna put two. And I have lost the plates. We used to have like normal plates and I cannot find them. So you only get a paper party plate. This is the best I can do. I'm gonna color it like this so it looks more like the old plates. I'm trying to make this place look advanced. I think I'll put this. <laughs> can it not be rusty? I don't want it rusty. Yeah, that's better. It's supposed to indicate advancement. I'm using these LED lights in like every single build, but they look really nice. Kind of makes it feel like a painting when you put it. I don't really want them to have like a living room. I want them to have have more like a lounge room like this. Like they just lay on this. They really like shelves, clearly. I keep putting them everywhere. Wait, where is the vine plant? I gotta yoink it. Here it is. Vine plant and another one. I guess I'll put the globe up here and we'll just grab more papers and a couple more books. This person's really busy, busy. Maybe they're trying to solve the climate change. A ceiling mount on a TV could definitely be here. They're very technologically advanced, so why not? Ooh, that's nice. They lay down there, they watch TV. It's a vibe. And what about this? Possibly a bookcase? I mean, we don't got many other options, so I'll just go for the bookcase. I wanna get this grow one and i'm gonna get the pre-made one because i ain't got time i made three houses today three but i have more building to do after i'm done with this rest in peace to me more papers on the ground medical research climate change research medical research their house is so advanced but they're so busy the advancement is at what cost i will get them a floor plan to lighten up the place i don't want to put more like papers on the floor i will put just a few for the bedroom but come on no papers in the bathroom the bathroom is a place where you just have shower thoughts that's it wait speaking of i didn't make an entrance for it so ooh, should it be see -through? Through? Well, you're pretty much the only person living here. So see through bathroom door. Let's go. Do I let shower? And I don't think a sink can fit. <laughs> Just use the kitchen sink. You're good. This person really, really likes shelving. They collect a lot of things. Papers, sunglasses, toilet paper. I got to put a plant here to hide the fact that it's, um, it's having a little bit of a malfunction. The bathroom is done. And now we're going to move on to the bedroom, which is already really packed with stuff. I just got to place a bed somewhere at this point. I'm going to try to place the bed. Not like that. I'm going to move it. But I got to also move these like handfuls of cash. Okay, the bed fits. How about the desk setup? I gotta get the big desk. Maybe just the quadratic one. Put this on there. Put the globe somewhere. I really want the desk to be in the center of the room. Even though you like run out of space here, I don't care. What do I even do with this cash register? Why this guy got a cash register? They even got the comfort office chair because this person fancy. They got a lot of money. I'm trying to put all their money on their desk. They are rich. It's from all that medical research that they're doing. And I'll put their beverage fridge. Oh, I wanted to put it underneath the desk because you'll see that like in real life, but it won't let me. So I'll just kind of put it here next to the arcade machine. Probably makes more sense like side to side of each other. Yes, I can also fit a wardrobe. And this prediction worked out way better than I expected. I really don't know where to put this cash register. Maybe it's just like clutter. So it's on the floor. And a little bit more vine plants. And some more papers for all the research. Ooh, this bed is ugly. I gotta recolor it. What else do these people need during a time of climate change? I really don't know. I'm just giving them a mirror. I don't know what to give them. Maybe because there's so much climate change, the sun doesn't go down. So they need a sleeping mask. There we go. That is the AI prediction for 2024. Wow, that was really
really, really cool. Now, finally, we have the final number, the final prediction. Now, this one is the Reddit prediction. This person said, everything will be even worse. The economy will go downhill. Bad economy. So this person who lives in number four has no money. Brokey. This person here is showing them like having a really boring life. Bored. No TV. This person says that they will turn 16. Happy birthday. Happy early birthday to all of you. And this person says that the world will explode, which I think is very dramatic, but um, explosion? Aliens? Something like that. This is pretty much Reddit prediction. The Reddit prediction is kind of interesting to me. All the people are really, really negative about what's coming. Horoscope and numerology have been very positive, let's say. AI has just been like facts. They're like, I have calculated the statistics and this is how it will be. So, so it didn't feel too bad. I think it's because they had at least one positive, which was like advancements and advancements are always good. But the Reddit prediction, everybody's like super negative there. I didn't really see a positive one. So since we're going with the super we're negative bad economy broke bored no tv explosion aliens so this person is gonna live in a very cheap house we're gonna get the cheapest window because the person who lives in number four is unfortunately predicted to be a brokey i'm so sorry that this is your reality let's try to make the best and try to give them a decent floor plan at the least Oop, i deleted that i'm gonna put another window here it's like having two eyes and i guess another window here and another window here and i'm done with windows i'm not gonna place more windows then we're gonna go into the door and we're gonna pick the cheapest door uh <laughs> <laughs> the plain door. Yep, that's your front door. I want to close this. Oh, I can't. I'll close it like that. And then I'll make like an entrance. Maybe an arched opening. Or no. It'll be like a bedroom entrance. Yeah, that would be good. Which would leave this to be like the kitchen. I'll leave it open plan so I don't place walls and spend too much money. So, ooh, I picked the modern counter. That was a mistake. I need to go for the cheapest one. So the basic counter. We're going to place it like that. We're going to give them the tilt sink. You don't even get a kitchen sink. It's a broke world out here. So yeah, they're going to get the cheapest TV for the living room. We could get the wall mounted one. I'll be nice enough to get that for them oh man that looks outdated wait we need a bathroom where is the bathroom gonna be maybe share the bedroom and bathroom i could make this an ensuite but i'm gonna need a double door to make that work so i'll just use this one it's still the cheapest double door and for the exterior i don't really know what to do for the exterior i'll just make it like planks and like this there we go i'm trying to go for like kind of suburban i guess i could give this person a window like here that wouldn't hurt it looks so awkward just by itself this is gonna be a hard house to pull together reddit why you gotta be so negative can i grab an end table oh i gotta get the cheapest one I don't know how much decoration we can even get. I gotta go for the, all the cheapest stuff. Pen cup, open paper bag, maybe even a trash bag outside. I don't know. I guess the trash bag works because Reddit basically wants to say that 2024 is flaming hot, you know? Doo doo. Basic trash can. Coffee table. Wait, that's too expensive. Gotta go for the cheapest. There you go. Spilled coffee. Everything needs to be chaos here. Hurricanes. Problems. Heat. And being broke. Okay, cheapest fridge. I'm not gonna give them too many appliances. Like, I will give them the toaster and I will give them also a microwave, but I think that's gonna be about it and we'll get the basic stove i'll just place it here <laughs> it's okay if it looks a little goofy maybe we can use some pillars to like separate this or maybe put like a wall i have made a mistake how about this what am i even doing how about this this is a difficult kitchen to work with there whatever i'm gonna pretend that this is working out that's the kitchen it's very very uh suffocating in there you can barely fit we have some free space here so i'm just gonna go ahead and make a dining area i think this house might be the biggest one but i can't get the cheapest dining table it's too big i will go ahead and get them a more expensive dining table you know how I'm gonna justify it? I'm gonna say that karma from numerology was so nice that they gifted Reddit prediction a table. Ooh, and it's marble. They got friendship. We'll use a simplicity chair though. And they ordered pizza. That's nice. That's wholesome. They got friends. Yeah, this house is definitely broke. <laughs> I feel like I'm not making it look like it's overheating, but to be honest, these are a lot of block books. So I don't know if I want to buy more. Wait, I did write that they're bored and they got no TV. Maybe the TV's busted. To show that it's busted, I will do this. <laughs> Somebody smashed it in. There. Now you can't watch no TV. Moving on. We'll go to the bedroom. You want the standard single bed. Put it here. And I will also give them the simplicity dresser. How about a cork board? Yeah, with a couple of photos. And since their TV is busted, they need books. They are probably very, very bored. And for some reason, papers. I really don't know what to do for this place. I guess I'll put a trash can too. And for the bathroom, I'm gonna make it super quick. Oh wait, actually, I was gonna grab some of the bathrooms from the other places, but they probably don't use the cheapest stuff. And we know that 2024 for Reddit is broke time. So cheapest toilet, cheapest sink and most importantly the cheapest hanging shower that i can get oh i have to remove the window and they're all shared in this tiny little space i do want to give them a mirror can i get like a cheap mirror i know that the framed mirror is not the cheapest yeah we got the borderless mirror that's the cheapest one. Oh, i hate it but this is as good as the bathroom gets you know what at least you got the luxury of toilet paper oop i didn't grab it maybe you don't have the luxury here is the luxurious toilet paper yeah i would say that's how reddit predicts 2024 very bad
bad and bored and everything's broken. Kind of tempted to put more of these like wooden things to make this place look even more busted. Because they're basically saying that like the world explodes. Maybe it did explode and this is how they like fixed up their house. Oh man, this looks bad. Well, you know what? At least this kind of blocks the windows so you don't need curtains. You know, it's good to look on the bright side. 888 is how much money I have. That's cool. Welcome to 2024. Four different houses with four different predictions on how 2024 is gonna go. So the total cost of all four houses together is 168,000, which honestly is expected to be really high. First house is the Zodiac prediction. A lot of the focus was on family, working hard, and trying a lot of new things. I did try try a couple of new things for you guys. Can barely get into this room. Okay, I'm in, I'm in. And I got a little party hack going on. The Zodiac prediction says that people are gonna travel. We're gonna go to foreign lands and that we're gonna have a very busy schedule. I tried to capture all of the busyness, all of the family, all of the new stuff in this house. And here is also the bathroom. And the bathroom is more of like, you know, you do with it what you can. I just put a globe to sort of capture the foreign lands that we will travel to. The Zodiac prediction is pretty cool. And I like how I built it. I like how it turned out. Now this is our numerology house and prediction. This one was really focused on karma and feminine and masculine energy. So yin and yang. The exterior, I made it really feminine and the interior, I made it pretty masculine. You know, I kept changing it up, adding a little bit of yin, adding a little bit of yang. A lot of focus was also on power and leadership, which is a little bit hard to show in a house. That was interesting. Our third house prediction is based on some statistics, some numbers, some facts. AI has come to speak to us. And as you can see, it is quite interesting intense. Basically, AI had to mention climate change. I had to show climate change the best I could with some fire. But other than climate change, the focus was on advancement. So there was a lot of medical research, a lot of technology. The bathroom, again, is whatever you can do and technological advancement. I figured they have a lot of money since they got a fancy setup like this. And they also got an arcade machine and beverages. <laughs> because it's too hot, they need cold drinks. All of these predictions were really fun until we hit the Reddit prediction. That one was rough. I don't know if I just got onto like a very negative subreddit or if Reddit is like Twitter and people are just like negative and complaining all the time. But basically it wasn't good. It wasn't as positive as like Zodiacs or numerology. They're saying everyone's gonna be broke. Everything's gonna be busted. World will explode. And it was just so much drama. So that's what I did for them. I put photos of explosions. I hope that makes them feel better. Chose all the cheapest items for this prediction. Of course, the bathroom is also as cheap as I can get it. Even the toilet paper don't look right. It's so high up. Look at us dancing. But anyways, guys, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Hit that thumbs up right now if you did. And don't forget to turn on notifications so you never, ever miss a video. I love you guys so much. See ya and happy 2024.